Which leads us to our last topic, uh, which was the One Piece live action. Now, it might come as a surprise to you, but we talk about One Piece sometimes as a, as a group. Um, so needless to say, we all had some interest in the live action. And Dude, I was waiting for this shit for so long. The hype was building up. I was like very measured, mm-hmm. but I, I was pretty hyped those last two days. It was like when when you're not hyped for a video game until right about its it like a, its release. Um, what did y'all think? Now Tyler only watched one episode, so maybe he can go first. So, um, because he hates One Piece. So, <laughs> I, I here's the bad thing. I hated Alveda, and this is just literally like the smallest part of the first episode. Um, Alvita, I feel like, was, like, a weak part. Huh. Um. She was fine. She's Alvita. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. like, fine, but, like, I feel like it was, there was no energy with that character. Um, I don't mm. know. It, I, I know what you mean, because we... episode, I feel like the energy is a little low. Mm. Maybe I'm too used to over-the-top, zany, wacky... And obviously, I want to. It's gonna cook for me. It's gonna get there. Uh, the costumes are beautiful. The sets are beautiful. Oh yeah. The cinematography is great. It can be. Um, it's it's they like doing really close to the face yeah. shots. Yeah. Sometimes, but um, it's mostly good. The choreography from is the so good. So it was amazing. I was like, yo, this shit's lit. Think when of TV Zorro- shows. Think of a Marvel movie. They don't have this good choreography. Like, like yeah. they got Zoro sliding on his knees through the courtyard, slicing people. I was like, oh, oh yeah. Fucking Bro, I, I read it. today, Zoro, Sanji did all his stunts. Zoro yeah. did all but one. So they're literally fighting each other to see who could do the most, the most stunts. Yeah, Sanji exactly. also learned how to cook and then cook for the entire crew when they were hanging out together. That's a good these, bonding. These people are dedicated out yeah. and they're they all nerds yeah. about it. They should be. If this goes yeah. well, they have a job for the next 15 years. Yeah. Oh, God. I hope they get I hope they announce they, season two. They so deserve it. Um, mm-hmm. So, I, I, like, y'all, y'all go off. Tell me more. I thought this shit was great. Yeah. Um, I just, like, as far as a live action adaptation goes, like, the bar for an anime live action adaptation is so just, just just don't suck. But I, I think this yeah. was way above don't suck. I think it was I, I thought for a live action adaptation it was pretty damn good. Not only was the bar mm-hmm. really low, but the the show surpassed normal consumer shows yeah. on Netflix. It's top, like it did big numbers. It was like it's like Netflix's 30th biggest release ever. No, it's, it's the Stranger Things of Pirates. Has, it's Shut up. Stranger Things and Wednesday. No, it has not surpassed Wednesday. Not it's even close. It surpassed Wednesday. It has not surpassed Wednesday. I saw a headline about that. I don't know I, if it's true or not. I looked at the numbers today. Wednesday had like 400 million hours while Wednesday had or sorry, while One Piece had uh 140. So okay, it was a like, different metric I was looking at. Oh, uh, maybe mm-hmm. like it had more unique viewers, but I it was I, some shit like that. People watch uh, more, uh, a lot more Wednesday, and definitely not Squid Games. I think that's their top, is what I read. So, yeah, but yeah, like it's doing good. More importantly, not only is live action anime a low bar, they picked literally the worst adaptable show of all time. I, I can't think of a yeah. single one that's worse. <laughs> that's the thing. Like uh, this should yeah. this should be. By all accounts, this should be like the hardest anime to adapt to live action. And they kind of yeah. cooked, I gotta say. Like, what? I, I'll, I'll let you guys go because I'm definitely the one that has the most complaints. Because I think this yeah. show, the more you have read and care about the nuances of the East Blue, the more annoyed you're mm-hmm. gonna be. Uh, but for like all the people who are watching this as their first introduction to One Piece, love it. Like, I was talking to Trevor and Ashlyn about luffy mm-hmm. as a character like just think about that for a second that is a sentence God, that I should, I should have never said they're so anti anime. Yeah. like my mom could watch this and enjoy it my brothers could watch this like it's crazy it's such a success mm-hmm. in that front uh, but when you're a diehard one piece fan you're like i don't like that one yeah. change and that's me, me and will are we're, <laughs> we're talking about that uh we watched the last two episodes together me and willer did uh it was last two or three but yeah uh i think one thing that I really liked with the show is that like it it just wasn't afraid to to be one piece yeah. or like to show it's it's like how crazy it is. Like it, it, it wasn't like we're gonna tone down. There are some things that have to get toned down just because like Usopp's nose. Like that's a good that's a yeah. good tone down. 
Which is weird because then you have fucking Nezumi who has whiskers coming out of his face and like these just random like He doesn't have to be on the screen and taken seriously the whole time. I think it is yeah, what what true. made me believe was when you see Mary and you're like, Why the fuck do you look like that? It's so good. Like, yeah. Like not the it's, boat, it's... Mary the man. Like he he just he's just yeah. a weird sheep man for some reason. Yeah. And then like <laughs> But it's it's it, like it hits this really good middle ground of being campy. Of like we know some of this stuff is fucking ridiculous we're gonna just ride with it but we're also not taking away from our emotional scenes either like we're gonna we're gonna play them seriously and we're gonna have people act and we're not gonna cut a joke in the middle of it like they're they're like it's really important that those emotions hit like you have like zoro fighting mihawk and his emotion afterwards you have sanji's flashback you have uh nami's flashback which i i think me and will are both have a lot of complaints about that um it's it like they, they hit those emotional beats really really well but they also kept the cartooning-ish of like one piece itself it really felt like that world is crazy and erratic and the characters react to it in very like like how they should if they live there like there's some stuff they're like yeah that's just how the world works and other stuff they're just like that's fucking weird why are you doing that kind of a thing like luffy for example is a weirdo like yeah. i don't no matter where you are in the world like people are gonna react to you weird yeah but the snail phones are like part of the world no one's making a joke about the snail phones they're which just there think being about weird. that nightmare fuel you mean yeah they're so good <laughs> yeah yeah like think about that if it was an mcu stuff someone would be mentioning how weird it is they have true snails the humor like, was really yeah. good it never got like mm-hmm. snarky like it, it was always balanced uh to mm-hmm. not be cringy i think that's really important to, to mention yes Qu- question did y'all yeah. watch in english or japanese english. i watched in english english kelly and i started watching it in english and then we switched to japanese and we were like this helps a lot Huh. Okay. That you're weirdos. Uh, I just like I love like the it's got the original voice cast and they're the goats. Yeah. Uh, I like every straw hat voice actor. The problem is, you know, Dub's got the mouth flap issue and like that's gonna bother me a little bit, no matter yeah. what. It's also like the actors do good. Yeah. Like, I like Sonny's actor. I they're like really good actors. Actor. Man, yeah. Of, of all the things I think this show did well, the thing that like I I just gotta give him a round of applause. The casting director it just the casting is so good. It. Dude, Zeth is so fucking good yes. in this. Yeah, I was Perfect. blown away by some of those Zeth scenes. Uh, so just... good. Arlong, I was skeptical because he's got to wear ten tons of shit on his yeah. face the whole time. Mm-hmm. I actually really liked Arlong in this. I thought he was really good. Boogie, everyone's <laughs> horny for Boogie right now on TikTok. That's pretty cool. That That's everyone's cool. always horny for Boogie. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, what? Who? Who else is there? I think. Uh, oh God! There was one of them. That Kuro was, was just Kuro. That that guy is just that fucking just Kuro, Kuro for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Helmeppo! Helmeppo oh, was like God. weirdly perfect. Hel- it was Hel- like he Mepo, came, dude. Helmeppo is the one up. character in this in this show that is objectively better than in the manga. Like I was expecting yes. to see him in maybe two or three scenes and then never see him again. Mm-hmm. I, I was glad that I got to see him almost every episode. The, like, oh my god, the episode... Was he in episode one or two? He's or in episode one. one, yeah. But, like, dude... He, he's butt naked. Uh, yeah. I, I, I was watching that episode, and I was sitting there thinking, I was like, why is Helmepo my favorite part of this episode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's and so it's, like, it's great because he has long hair, and then Zoro gives him this shitty the shitty hair. I'm like, that's so good and an actor like, plays him so well kobe yeah. i think kobe did really good especially for like mm-hmm. what kobe needs to be at this point of the story um yeah and like technically this is a more interesting tighter overall narrative for the east blue to have like this MacGuffin of the one map to like mm-hmm. integrate our long earlier like on paper these are all better decisions and the way i would describe this show it's mm-hmm. taking One Piece characters and putting them in a remixed One Piece arcs. So they're shuffling around a lot of what goes on in the arc. And that's actually not where my problems come. If I had to get into my main yeah. problems with the writing, it's they leave there, out some, really yeah. subtle character bits yes. that I think are... Like, if you've, if you've, like, watched or read The East Blue once or twice, you're going to pick up on, like, these really small things mm-hmm. that made the character spark to life. And they decided to do other things that are less interesting than those small things. 
one point in particular is, for example, not having the Usopp pirates. I think that Usopp pirates are so important to set up the vibe yeah. of Usopp mm -hmm. as this loser captain pretend pirate. And, like, their growth throughout that arc is really good. More importantly, I think not having Hachi is, like... It's a bit of a red flag for me. It's like, oh, you care about Hachi that much? They can replace him. But it's like, it's so important that Nami forgives someone who made her life hell later on to set up the racism arc in Fishman Island. You set that up mm -hmm. to send Bodhi. He's the reason the Straw Hats got split up. It's Luffy fighting for Hachi's honor. So, like, not having that character just makes me wonder how much they care about some of that progression later on like you could have had hachi there for like five to seven minutes and i would be fine like like for example they have nezumi there just barely enough that's enough like you don't have to give mm -hmm. the characters a lot of screen time and ultimately that is screen time that garp's plot line had to take and then i get into my biggest problem with this year, yeah. season which is garp i do not like this version of garp whatsoever that's the thing right because here's the thing pretty not not happy. garp that is not yeah. garp hey, that's the thing I, I, we get we get probably 40 times more kobe and helmeppo in this which than is a good idea really he's like like yeah. all all of the extra Kobe and Hell Beppo we got, I was like, oh my god, give me more. Like I, I wish we got this much of them in the original because they're mm -hmm. doing great. Garp, I was like, his personality feels a little off. He's so he's such a stickler for the rules when Garp is supposed mm -hmm. to be the opposite of Luffy and like embody freedom within mm -hmm. the Marines. He feels like mm -hmm. I think Joe said he feels more like Sengoku, and that's accurate. Yes. Did you yeah. talk about, uh, I may have missed it real quick. Did you talk about the ending of episode one when Luffy and Kobe depart from each other? I thought that was pretty good. I, 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 did, I hated it. Oh, really? What did you like? like? Uh, I like the normal one. Well, what's where... nice about the normal one, and they cut this character, is that as they're departing, like Kobe has convinced one of the Marines in town that Luffy's a good guy. And that's just yes. like a nice way to show that the Marine mooks can be and, convinced. And then... He entices Kobe to punch him. Yeah! So that, yeah. Oh! The yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. as he's leaving, Kobe runs out and says goodbye, and then all the Marines are behind him. Saluting. Yeah. It's but, like a little like, thing. You could have spent a minute on that, that scene, and I would be happy. That is pivotal <laughs> to the overarching theme of One like, Piece. It is, because, like... Kobe, you have to be, you have to fight pirates, even if your heart's not in it. Like, th on paper, you need to follow this route, and one day maybe you can change the system from inside. I and will say, though. That, but how Luffy frees the soldiers yeah. and they're grateful. Exactly. Yeah. That is, yeah, that's also really important. I, like, like, Morgan's, mm -hmm. like, I think Joe said Morgan's not very authoritative here, and that's true. I will say. He's just kind of egotistical in yeah. this rather than, like, a dictator. I will say what I did like about the Kobe goodbye scene is when Kobe says he's not going, Inyaki, the actor for Luffy, does this like little internal Luffy look down and then smile. Like he's Inaki does a really good job at emoting the Luffy mm -hmm. emotional maturity that I've always talked about as like one of Luffy's best traits. Like he acts it out really well. Um so stuff like like I I, I appreciate the plot changes like I, I respect the new direction I think it works well for the TV like Sierra Village is just a completely different arc but it it was like it's a good idea like it wasn't a bad idea to do but like it means that you cut out the Usopp pirates and Django like if if this show mm -hmm. had a scene where Django is dancing and Luffy joins him it would do Wednesday numbers because it needs a TikTok dance that's how Wednesday got True. big um, yeah. but like also. I think Nojiko is so fucked up in this show. Like, that is... Oh, it's awful. Nojiko and Nami's relationship it, is so wholesomely good. It, like, she gets the tattoos for Nami, so she, Nami doesn't mm -hmm. feel alone. In this show, she just has the tattoos, I guess. She just kind of has them. Yeah like, yeah, like, missing the mark a little bit. And, like, that's just me being the super fan. I still think it's a super fun show. I was smiling, like, the whole time. It's, mm -hmm. it's so much fun. Um, it's... Yeah. But, yeah, those are, I... like, some of the bigger complaints. I think those are, like, up there with me as well. And, like, I think for Garp, they're, like, we kind of know where he needs to be at the end. But it's just also kind of, like, you, Garp never went through an arc in One Piece. Like, you get a sense of, like, Garp's always been this way. Right? Like, it's technically like, happening now, live. Like, as the, yeah. like, it's a very deep arc, like, for the end of the series. He doesn't need to, like... I don't know, yeah. like, what happens when he, like, he is he just going to be completely different when he shows up in any's lobby if they get there? I don't know. Like, it's going to be mm -hmm. weird. Yeah, I'm not sure, and like, like, how they're going to take the characters. Those characters, I feel, are pretty pivotal being cut out means that, mm -hmm. like, 
Dude, we might get Alabasta without, like, Toto and Koza. Karu might not exist. We're going to get Dressrosa with, like, Doflamingo and Treble, and that's it. Like, none of the Doflamingo family exists. Fisherman Island is just going to be Hody. Pander Deck is not even going to be there. The Nova's not even going to be part of Like, it just it just leads me to a spiral of, like, if they're cutting this, like, for the longer mm-hmm. arcs that are, like, going to take multiple episodes, they're going to cut fucking everybody. So it yeah. is a little worrisome. But I do... We're like, not going to have Hoikle or Moikel. We can do without Holoko and Moiko, I guess. But no. they're not but they're not gonna have Pepe Lulu, let me tell you that right now. No. Nope. Or Tilestone. Yeah. But alas. Here's damn. the thing. Like they had to make a lot of narrative differences and like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. some of them like yeah, we, we miss out on like important character moments, which are like I can see those. There are some people online who like if anything is different. Like, if a character steps with their right foot instead of their left foot, some of these people are like, I can't believe... Like, there was this one post I saw where this guy was, like, in the scene where Shanks' pirates are fighting those bandits or whatever. Yasop shoots this guy like this instead of like this, how he did in the original. And I'm like, who That's gives fun. a shit? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not that stick. I'm stickler more for, like, missed potential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's the stuff that matters. Yeah. But, like, like... All the Straw Hats are not quite the Straw Hats, but I think that's fine. They're, like, good adaptations of yeah. the Straw Hats mm-hmm. in live action. I think that works well. Like, Zoro here loves killing. First thing he does is kill a black man. Hello, minority <laughs> hunter? <laughs> Anybody? They do know the source material. They do. So yeah. you can trust them. But, like, but like he still has that, like, he doesn't say exactly what he says when he's pledging to Luffy, but you get it in the scene where he wakes up. Like, they split it up in a really smart way. I love the scene where Zora and Nami drink. Um, That's mm-hmm. so good. And they're, like, exchanging shots. Like, there's so much good added stuff. It's just, like, some of it is not quite as good as some of the stuff's missing, but it's still, like, a... Just picture it as, like, an alternate timeline one piece that's still pretty damn good, and I, I like it that way. I can't wait for season four that should be when they that, get that should be water seven around then mm, what's season three season three would be Gaia Skypea. Skypea. i want yeah. them to spend the entire season at Skypea. i bet it'll go like two in jaya four in Skypea, two in like long green long land and yeah. set up water seven kind of thing that'd be a what, that'd be a horrible way what, to end that season <laughs> not they, if Alkiji shows up and sets up robin tr- true no true true works. true but they get also uh uh m&m Hawk. to be you know black we get the yeah. introduction of blackbeard and, and uh, blackbeard they can do a lot more like they can expand zoom, blackbeard zoom, guy. <laughs> zoom, zoom guy. blackbeard zoom played guy. by the rock let's go bellamy bellamy oh yeah they can definitely Je- like jellamy bellamy like, yeah. despite my complaints, I'm actually more excited for season two because if they take some of the feedback about, like, the more minor things and, like, tighten up the script and the... I also didn't like, like, the colors that they have on everything. I think they can let the colors shine a little bit more. I think they were maybe embarrassed of, like, it was, going too cartoony. It looks very dirty. Yeah. It, the, they, the, the sh- but well, I think that's also kind I, of fine. I just hope that they listen to the fans because season two could be amazing. I am worried, like... I imagine they're going to extend Ace a lot in Alabasta because he just shows up and leaves, right? I'm worried that he'll, like, do the mission with the Straw Hats, and it kind of needs to be them saving the country. So we'll see, like, how bad my fears are. I think our B-plot for Season 2 is going to be Kashiki and Smoker. I'm actually more welcome to that than Garp because I I don't think they're going to fuck up Smoker's character uh, like they did with Garp. And I feel like that's actually I feel like Garp in this season feels more like Smoker does with Tashigi. Um, because he goes through the whole thing of like we have to catch them, the pirates, yeah. we have to go after them. And at the very end he's like it. Yeah, and at the very end he's just like Tashigi, you have to make your own justice and he gives the reins yeah. to her. Yeah. I felt um, that way too. Like a lot of the time I was watching Garp, I was like, I feel like this is Smoker. Yeah. It's like Smoker or Sengoku mix, but like not the de- decidedly on Garp. Um, yes. Like the only Garpy things he had was like he threw the cannonballs. He's got. He has a he, hat. He looks fantastic. Like he's the perfect yeah. carp casting ever. It's not the actor's fault at all. It's the script mm-hmm. in that sense. Yeah. I um, think he everything else he did was great. Like he has a great laugh too when that does come out every once in a while. Can we talk about Mihawk's intro scene? I thought that went so hard. <laughs> like, uh, no, Mihawk can't. was the shit, bro. Like. <laughs> He's the first, like, he's the most supernatural feat that we see when he slices the ship. And I was like, cool. It's cool to see how you guys are going to adapt, like, 
bigger scale mm-hmm. fights later. Um, yeah. Dude, even him, like, flicking his wrist and flinging Zoro with the knife, I was like, that's so... That felt... Really good. That, that felt mm-hmm. good to me, because here's the thing. I think all of us have, like, generally medium to positive opinions. I probably have the highest positive opinion. I thought this live-action adaptation was the My, shit. Mine's positive. What? I'd give it, like, a, a strong seven, or, like, yeah, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. Probably, like, there were only two moments in this whole show I was watching it that I was less than completely enthused. Mm -hmm. The first one was at the very beginning, Gold Roger didn't say, and I left it all in one piece. Yeah, kind of (laughs) weird. Which I was like, I feel like if this is someone's first exposure, specifically saying that is is like like the, that's why it's called the one piece. Yeah. Yeah. But we were talking about fighting. The only other time that I felt less than enthused is like, I, I loved, I loved pretty much all the fights, Mm -hmm. especially Mihawk versus Zoro. The only time I was like, eh, is specifically Kuro. When, when Luffy, for me, it was when Luffy's fighting Arlong out in, si- out in front of Baradier. Um, there's one cool part where he kind of like launches Luffy into a sailboat, but for a solid like 10 second, 10 to 15 seconds, they're both standing in one spot, just kind of like punching and elbowing each other. And I'm like, eh. it was fun. To me, it was Kuro because like, they didn't adapt out of the bag attack, and I think that would have looked so cool in live action mm. with like all the mm-hmm. like claw marks on the wall. It would have been good in the mansion vibe that they were going for too. But he, yeah. but Kuro just kind of teleports behind Luffy, and he's like, "I'm not gonna stab you yet." And then like, eh. uh, it definitely didn't live up to the Luffy. <laughs> Luffy does the instinct punch he does against Mister Three in Little Garden. Yeah, instinct. He's- <laughs> Mr. Three cut out his amazing character arc and Impulse Down is just not gonna. There's no boogie yeah. ball. They can't adapt the best joke in One Piece without the that boogie ball. That was pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe uh, he'll maybe boogie will be like back then I blew up the town with the boogie ball and explain it that I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. How did y'all feel about Krieg and how they handled Krieg? Oh yeah, I, we didn't do that whole sequence, did we? Yeah. <laughs> no, nope, Krieg, Krieg gets uh, one shot by okay. Mihawk. Yeah. Best decision they made. Like I don't. <laughs> what 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 I would have liked is like, Krieg shows up for like a five minute. Like he just shows up. He's like, I'm here, Mihawk. Fuck you. And then he shoots the yeah. the, the needle gun. Luffy punches him through the cape, and then Mihawk kills him. Like yeah. Just have like adapt that in the quickest way possible. I would have liked that, but it's fine. I, like no biggie. There's there's another thing that we didn't bring up, Willard, that it's kind of a bit of a plot hole. And unless I missed a bit of dialogue, but like Luffy gets put in the chores for a year and then they just let him leave. Like well, he didn't say the Baradia, did he? <laughs> yeah, like the whole plot about him fighting <laughs> Krieg was just about Krieg was that like if you beat these pirates we'll let you go it's like all right cool I'll... they're like look listen take Sanji away from here get him out yeah I thought it was gonna be like I thought it was gonna be like he's gonna say about the Arlon pirates so if you can get them out of my restaurant I'll let you go but they don't even have that line like yeah. good point yeah it's, it's you just gotta assume. Uh, yeah so it's, it's just, just a really weird thing I man uh, the kid straw hats I thought did really good for kids except Luffy's actually yeah. like the worst ironically but like Kid Zoro was kind of cooking. I really like how they dude. adapted his backstory. Kid Zoro and Kid Sanji. Yes. Oh, dude, that looked miserable. Like, they made that a yeah. hell scenario. That uh, kid looked like he was going through it. And then Nami, <laughs> like, I think Joe was saying, like, they killed someone in front of Nami in real life to make her cry that hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they actually gave her a tattoo, and she's crying from the needle <laughs> when when uh, Kirby is doing it to her. They actually made uh, her join pirates. For real. Yeah. Drawing sure. maps. Anyway, it's like I like the inside part of the Arlong fight, like him destroying the the room. The gum gum axe looked great. Like Luffy stretching, uncanny valley in a good way. Like it was just kind of cool to see a character stretching and not look awful. Like it would look pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it looked great for what it was. Um, yes. Oh, you know where they could do the bunky ball Willer mm. is in Loge Town. Like they shoot. The, the Mary with the bucky ball and he bounces it away. That could be, or like it hits the ocean and explodes really big. Yeah. That, that'd be cool, actually. Uh, so yeah. next season should be opening up with like at least an episode of Luge Town, maybe like half Luge Town, mm-hmm. half Reverse Mountain. I think that'd be good. And yeah. Then, like, God, 
They're not going in Laboon. There's no way they're going inside that fucking whale. No, they're going to talk There's... to Laboon outside the whale, of course. Yeah, they're just talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just talking going into Laboon, I think, is just stupid because how is there light in there? I don't like to think about it. <laughs> if, if they don't do some Monty Python-ass shit with the introduction of Crocus, where they're all just staring each other down <laughs> and having, like, awkward dialogues, and he's just death glaring them, and he's like... And then he just sits down and starts reading his paper. That like, is such I'm a good gag hit. in the show. It yeah. is so good. It's one of the better yeah. ones. Uh, I just saw this fan casting for Zor uh, for Ace, and I really love it. Actually, this would this would be fire. That's the kid who does Blue Beetle and Cobra. Oh, Kai. that'd be badass. He looks great. Oh, that'd be great. That is actually. like he looks like Luffy's brother. This is awesome. And you know what? They could you could get away with it. Like, oh yeah, they're brothers, and that puts everyone to a sense uh, of the the false sense of security before the car or the Roger twist, which is good. Yeah. Um, so my yeah, prediction yeah. is like season two up to Alabasta, season three up to like Long Ring. Then you have the Eni's yeah. Lobby saga. Um, mm -hmm. Probably you have Eni's Lobby and Thriller Bark in the same season actually, and then you do like all of Marine Ford in like season five. Five seasons to cover up to Marine Ford seems both doable and not even that crazy. Realistically, like, how many seasons mm -hmm. do you guys think we're gonna get? They could adapt up to Wano. In ten seasons, from what I calculated. But damn, dude, like it's a lot. I yes. think we'll get. I think we'll get. Being realistically, we'll get two seasons. I I, I think we'll, I, I will be happy if we get a second one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it depends, right? It, it, the story's mm -hmm. written for them, so like, maybe they can work around the writer strike by just having people adapting. But I, I would. Uh, Matt Owens, the writer, seems like a cool dude. I hope he wouldn't work doing the writer strike, but I don't know what. Yeah. That, Netflix is. I, evil, that's so. the other thing too. It's like this started filming in 2017. Yeah. You have to remember that. Yeah. So it's like. Which is why, yeah, like, yeah. when Garp is like, fuck the new generation, I'm like, there was literally a chapter a month ago where Garp is like, the new generation's everything. So I was no. like, yeah. <laughs> clearly these guys don't know what just happened in the manga when they wrote yeah. that line. Uh, I do think it's funny. I mentioned this I mentioned this to Willow Bradley. and uh, But, like, there's a, there's the scene where Garp goes to the Baradier and he talks to Zeph. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure the executive went, like, we built this fucking big-lipped fish boat for two episodes of this fucking show, yes. that's not gonna fly. We're gonna, <laughs> you have to use the scene. You have to use the set. Fair. Fucking scene. I had the exact same thought. Kobe and Helmeppo were doing their shots, and I was like, yeah, they they spent like a million dollars on this boat. They want to use it. Yeah, <laughs> which is fine. But I just think it's really funny. It's like we gotta see, we gotta use this boat, man. I it's can't like believe of... these sets they made. Incredible. Holy shit! The Barati mm -hmm. is crazy. Arlong Park. I Arlong like... Park. Joe had a great point. They made Arlong Park more parky, and that is yeah. good foresight, actually, it's because good. Yeah. it's shaped after Sam Bodhi Park. So I really like that. That was a good call on their part. Also had nightclub yeah. vibes at night, and I thought that was fun. Uh, I like how the <laughs> black character that. gets trap music. <laughs> Arlong gets, <laughs> like, trap music. This is, like, cool, right? Uh, I like how Arlong's throne is called Shark Attack, which I think is one of his moves yeah, that he does. Yeah, it's one of his attacks, like... yeah. Um, Speaking of Arlong Park, I'm glad we got uh, Usopp's, like, solo fight. Uh, but it was missing the scene where he thinks about not doing it. And I think, like, I know. That, that's 30 seconds. That's, that, that's what annoys me. It's, like, a little 30-second injection that is missing. But mm -hmm. we live. We move on. Because... Like, we definitely see Usopp be cowardly in all the other fights that he's in. Yeah. So just having him... Which isn't much. He did. He got pump, to do, like, one thing all yeah. season. But... Yeah. But, like, him just having that moment, like, no, I need to pump myself up and do this, and he does it, I think would have been really good. I, so while Usopp got, like, I think done a little dirty material-wise, I thought his acting, especially when he's telling lies... When he's telling really lies. Good. He, like, he, whenever... Yes. I think Zoro wakes up, he's like, Zoro, thank God you're safe. And they're like, we beat the pirates. And he's like... Oh, the pirates? Yeah, man, you should have seen him. Like, I was, I don't know. He's just. It, it's like a, a fun, realistic adaptation of his mm -hmm. lies. I, I like that take. So, yeah. Like, they could do the whole post time skip Fishman Island and Punk Hazard, one season. Dress Rosa, one season. Zoe Whole Cake, one season. Wano, one season. Like, that's actually not bad if, like, they get that. Come on. Uh, and then look. Egghead Final Saga, potentially. Whoever. Whatever the probably, fuck's happening now. Probably two maybe seasons. now that they've got season yeah. one out, maybe like they can keep it rolling faster. Because like it's probably harder to make season one of a show than it is to make a season two of a well, show. The They're... thing is, Bradley, is season one usually comes with a lot of the upfront cost of the yeah. costuming, the sets, and a lot of like the special effects you would do normally on a regular basis. The thing about One Piece is that 
you go to a new island every arc that's a new set that's a new set of like digital effects you have to do each new villain has a completely different move set and power like they're gonna have to fucking make logias are next like, like that's i think that's why smoker yeah. wasn't in the season they're like hold up we're doing logias next let, let, let us yeah just... well, we gotta dude. see how well this does before you invest another million dollars for this one character they're gonna keep going I mean, back fucking... to the they're gonna keep going back to the Baradier because they already paid for and it. then and then fucking zoans as well like they're gonna have to oh do like God. hybrid animals they could like, actually with the practical effects with the fishmen like it's gonna look a little corny but they can do the hybrid animals at least I, I think um, they could, but like you also have to do Chopper. The, oh my god, work. what are they gonna do about Chopper? Man, he's gonna be like but, he's gonna get that Sonic the Hedgehog treatment. Now Ch Chopper's gonna, gonna look cursed, but Brook is gonna look so fucking funny. Brook's gonna look cool. <laughs> I think they can do him well. Brook standing next to live action Zoro is gonna kill me, bro. It's gonna look so funny. <laughs> he's just gonna be like uh, one of those skeletons you see in your science now, classroom. The, the set dressing people are currently considering ending their lives over having to make Fishman Island and, and Whole Cake. Those, oh my god. Those sets are like out of this yeah. world weird for them to make, so that's gonna They're be. Go we Sky had Pia? the bacon actual. We had the bacon actual fifty An actual or five hundred foot cake. <laughs> we literally made a set of full chocolate. We did not spare any expense. <laughs> but uh, uh, Sky Pia at least is just trees for the most part because they're in yeah. That they can just area. throw a bunch of like cotton on the ground and be like, "Yep, there yep. you go. We did it." But, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's good on One Piece. Uh, Tyler, I hope you enjoy the... Are you going to watch it with Kelly? The, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, episode? yeah. We're just... Uh, we're at peak Wano right now. The raid has started. Oh, let's go. Woo. Oh, Tyler's also yeah. been waiting for this because he's been wanting to rewatch it. Uh, yeah. Let us know what you think. And, uh, Bradley, I actually had a question for you. I'm guessing, did Emmy watch with you? And what did she think as someone who's, like, not into the... Yeah. Or, like, not into the manga or anything. Like, I like the... I like the people who haven't read it. They seem to enjoy it even more, which I think is really cool. Yeah, no, she liked it. She said it... She thought it was really good, which kind of tracks with almost everybody I know who hasn't, like, watched or read the original who's yeah. seen this. Seems like they had a good experience with it. Like, Ryan loved it, and he's reading the manga now. I'm like, I won. <laughs> we did, I did it. <laughs> Dude, I really feel like One Piece as a franchise, I feel like was planning for this year for a long time. Yeah. Because Gear 5 Gear drops in the anime, anime. Yeah. you get your live action. The They opened up the card game a year before, so it's already in full swing. Like, I really feel like this is 20, a... 2023 feels like their push to turn it into like a worldwide known franchise you know good. which it's, it already is but like but like it's big like it's a good time to be a fan right now and yeah. uh like ryan's already in drum island that's how like yeah uh austin made a little thumb drive with like one pace for trash like i'm living in an alternate timeline right now it's weird this is wild this is weird and austin's like i think got through uh fucking east blue he's like oh i get it like he, so much so like, that Austin yeah. was making complaints about missing scenes. I was like, he's in, he's yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, when he brought up the Nojiko tattoos, I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't even I'm notice that. Sure. that. Yeah, <laughs> like Austin made me <laughs> notice that. What? That's a huge W in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, uh, so good I times. think if anything, the good thing is that, and like I was talking to, um, we were talking on Discord beforehand, but like people were talking about like what should i do after the one piece live action what should i be watching or where should i start and it started a huge argument about one pace which i think is hilarious um look you can watch but, normal one piece but you gotta have the right hand key at, at the at the ready for yeah. when they, for when they cut back to people's faces back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and you're like all right yeah my favorite clip is them showing the sumo fight from wano that I, one piece edits down cursed. it's like it's like the biggest, like, this is why you do this <laughs> kind of a thing. So cursed. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, I think you're right, Bradley. Like, this is, the f this is the marketing push that 20 years in the making has been coming to. I mean, we're at the final saga right now. Yeah, that's who. That's, we're going to know what the One Piece is in, like, three years, and I'm going to cry. It's Maybe gonna next year. Could you imagine <sighs> next year? Stop, I'm not ready yet. Give me three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to be over. I've been... So we just got the Roger flashback as well. Oh, did Kelly like it? It was so good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good. But like, so here's the big difference between people who. So like, now that I've read so much of the manga and watched so much of the anime, I'll say there's two major differences, and these are what the audience, different audiences, enjoy. With the manga, you get to talk about the mystery. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mystery. 
if you're just watching the anime, it's all about the action and those funny moments and the music. Like, the mystery is only there if you know to watch it and if yeah. you've read it as well. Like, mm -hmm. when I was an anime-only watcher, I was not into the mystery overarching. Now, I was there for each episode, arc-to-arc, moment-to-moment. I bet you would have been if you were always a weekly watcher. Weekly watchers do pay attention to the mysteries. I've, I've seen them talk about it. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just, like, when you're binging One Piece, you're not, like... If you're not doing, like, a book club like we did with Bradley, you're not really stopping to think about mm -hmm. that stuff. Like, And that's fair. I mean, that's <laughs> fine. But... So now that I'm so it's interesting because I am where I'm at in the manga and rewatching these flashbacks and I'm just like I know things. <laughs> yeah. Um it like Oda has so fucked up what the one piece is and Laugh Tale, like it could be this, it could be that. It could be literally, like, 20 different things he's set it up to be. All I know is it's it's laugh-worthy. So. I... Like... I feel like it might be a huge hole in the ground. Okay? Oh, we're, but oh, not, we're, not a wide hole, a deep hole. We're doing a... Blue hole? Oh, like the hole from Barton Springs? No, it, it's just a deep hole or some shit. And the treasure is all the way, or it's not even a treasure. It's just there's something at the very bottom, and it's set there by Joy Boy. He's like, hey, um, I put this thing at the very bottom of this deep hole, and now, uh, you can only get to this island if you have this devil fruit because you have to stretch your arm all the way to the bottom of the hole. So per I, I personally wouldn't, and it could happen, so I'm bracing for the worst. I would not like if only Luffy from the start could have gotten the One Piece, because then it would have made mm -hmm. the journey but, a little bit artificial. A little bit. He still have to find it and fight for it, but it also means no one else could have gotten it. I don't like that. So it, I think I think the point is, is nobody else can get it. Um, because the, first of all, it, it is something. Like, part of the tangibility of the One Piece is the knowledge. Like, that is part of the treasure, is knowledge of something. Um, of the entire world. Mm -hmm. That is part of the the final island, yeah. is knowing everything. Mm -hmm. Um, so, along with knowing everything, what else could they have needed to... Like, they were too early. So, obviously, they need to wait for Joy Boy. Why does Joy Boy need to be, which is Luffy, the only person on that island? So literally, Luffy is the only person that that island is waiting there for. There could be so many different ways that that line Wait, could so make sense, though. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, um, it also is like, it might be just like, if Joy Boy comes back, he fucks up the world government, and the world government's just putting him away for years, basically, uh, by shuffling around the devil if we were killing the youth whenever he shows up. No, no, boys. I believe we have a little book club night Fair. dedicated to One Piece coming up in a few weeks, and maybe we They're can right. take some of these talks it's there. right now. Look, we'll look do it. all I'm saying, Willer, <laughs> So Kizaru, is, right? Uh, every time there's... You said months ago, every time there's a weekly break, we'll talk about One Piece, and uh, there's been, like, every other week for the past two months, and we ain't talking Damn. about it. No, but then for your because of you guys, because I'm giving I'm making it easier to schedule for you, we broke that rule and we do it when we stock up chapters now. We've been doing that for the past few Oh, we're supposed to stock up chapters? I mean we're at I think we're currently at the I read week to week. No, Dude, yes. I've, that's I've, the thing, is I've still been doing my strategy if I let three or four build up. I don't mean literally stock up. I mean like when we got like five to talk about. We're currently at four. Mm -hmm. We can talk about it next time. Like after the next chapter. How about that? It's two yes. weeks. We are on a two week break. Release me. I'm gonna, I've been I, here he's, for, for forever. He's got to talk about Adam Sandler right now. But too bad you're going to have to hear about that next time. Thank you for listening if, if you're listening. And thank you guys for joining me. Oh, Good yes. talks. Lots of laughs today. You guys are wilding out. I have some titles oh. I'm going to run by you. <laughs> we'll see. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.